Good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Very grateful for everyone. Thank you for joining. And I have a poem to read. This time it's from Thomas Aquinas. And I don't know, I was just struck by it. So I thought I'd read this one. It's called The Mandate. Because of my compassion, the sun wanted to be near me all night and the earth deeded her fields to me and all in heaven said, we have voted you our governor, tell us your divine mandate. And I did, and God will never revoke it. Nothing in existence is turned away. More tender is my Lord's heart than, than any heart that has ever been. So when the divine realm asked me to govern it with one simple rule, I looked into his eyes and then knew what to say to any angel who might serve as a sentry to God. No creature should ever be turned away. And that is a beautiful way to start our compassion meditation. All creatures are never turned away. We're all here. So let's find our feet on the ground. Let's find ourselves rooted to the earth and then relaxing into a comfortable seat and bring hands to heart and center. And we can inhale and exhale and inhale. We are grateful. Allow your hands to rest in your lap or at your sides. And we'll just check in with the body now. If there's anywhere that's feeling tight or constricted, anywhere in the body, let's, let's bring some special attention there and maybe breathe into that spot or get another pillow or shake your head side to side or whatever it is that might feel more relaxed in this moment. And then you might want to check for places like our shoulders or our jaw or maybe the eyes or the eyebrow. And bring the next breath there. Letting that spot relax and release into this moment. We can let the eyes close. We can let our seats be rooted into the earth and our feet be our roots down into the earth and breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, relax. And breathing out, release. Relax. Release. And you can notice the mind as well. Maybe it's holding on to some thoughts or concepts. Yeah. 
we can bring that same breath to the mind. Breathing in, relax. Breathing out, release. And it's not so much of an action as an inaction. Relax, release. And as the whole body bathes in this rest, and the mind bathes in the rest as well. We notice the breath becomes deeper and slow. Breathing in and breathing out. And when the thoughts come in, we can, again, release them, not as an action, but as an inaction, a releasing, a not holding. And they just float away like clouds. Right now, we're noticing. We're aware of the breath. We're aware of the body at rest. We're aware of the mind coming in, floating out as we release the thought. And then let's notice all these things from the heart. Our spacious, vast heart. From here, we can notice all these things, the breath, Thoughts coming and going, the mind resting. We can notice the senses. Then we find that we can be aware of the awareness itself, aware of being aware. Aware from the heart. And as if you're aware from the heart, we find an inward smile, the inward peace, inward calm. And yet it's steadfast, it's always here. It's the ground of being, it's the 
vast space of loving awareness. From this space, as we see with the eyes of the heart, I invite you to bring into your awareness someone who could represent love to you. Someone overflowing with kindness, compassion, that could represent that for you. It could be a dear friend or a loved one. It could be the ocean or the sky. It could be a tree. It could be a pet. It could be divine. And this divine love. fills us up and overflows and shows us that all love is divine. And it turns nothing and no one away. It's here overflowing for everyone in abundance. And as we empty ourselves out, we fill up with that love to overflow. And as that love overflows, And our divine being connects with us and fills us up. We let that love flow to someone who we just love, that we find easy to love. So that love flows to them and use our phrases or words of compassion to direct that love. And if you have your own that you like to use, please do use those. If you'd like to use the ones I've chosen today, that's great too. And these we just keep coming back to when our mind or our attention our awareness drifts off. We just keep coming back to these words. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyous. Be free. And this shared love flows into our dear one that we just love. And they fill up with it and reflect it back to us and join in with us. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. And we find that we are washed in those words. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. Fill up and overflow with that love. 
And we bring to heart now someone who is practically a stranger to us. So of being aware from the heart, come to heart someone who's almost a stranger. Maybe we've just seen them in a store or shop or on a Zoom. And we let that one be our beloved right now. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyous. Be free. And they fill up and overflow with that love. And now we notice from the heart someone who we've had a difficult time with this week. There's just a, a little difficulty or maybe a great difficulty. Or maybe they've had a difficult time with us. And again, connecting in with our loving being, let that love flow through us. We let the love flow to this one who we've had a difficult time with. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. And then we bring to heart some beings noticing from the heart that really need a blessing this week. They're going through a hard time, difficulties in their lives. Whoever comes to heart. We're noticing that one or those ones from the heart. Notice them from the heart. See them with the eyes of the heart. Aware from the space of awareness. And these words might not be perfect for their situation, but the love is. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyous. Be free. And that freedom overflows and fills them up. We think of other, we bring to heart other beings that maybe just need a blessing so much this week. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free.
And then letting that love overflow again. And opening up our palms, we include our own dear ones, friends and family, those in our own circle of, of love. And they come and gratefully join in with us. May we be happy, may we be healthy, may we be joyous, may we be free. Be happy, be healthy, joyous, be free. And each one opens up to their friends and family and acquaintances and co-workers, co-students and just everyone, everyone across this beautiful globe of ours, all these human beings joining in in this beautiful, vast space of loving awareness. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. Love overflows and we include all the creatures of the earth and the animals. And those under the ground, those on the ground, those in the sky, and those in the water. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. Be happy, be healthy, be joyful, be free. And the creatures remind us to include all the plants and the trees, the mycelian network and all the green and growing things of the earth. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. Be happy, be healthy, be joyful, be free. We include the earth itself, and the oceans, the soil, and the mountains, the deserts, and the plains, and the forests, the sky. all the beings therein, may we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyful. May we be free. From the furthest star right to the center of the earth, be happy, be healthy, be joyful, be free. Everything included, nothing turned away. No one and nothing turned away.
And right here in this breath, breathing in, breathing out. We know that we can return any time, any moment during the week to this inaction of relaxing and releasing, resting in this beautiful loving awareness, always here. That's who we really are. As we breathe in, breathe out, we can bring our hands to heart center and inhale and exhale. We are grateful. I am very grateful for you. Good, good, good. And beautiful, beautiful. Let's shake, shake, shake a little bit. So we just let our arms. Okay, you got to hear this one. I'm going to turn this on so you can hear it if he does it again. There's a giant horn blowing. Sorry. I changed the sound so you can hear the background sound in case it, it goes off again. It was pretty great. Okay, shake, shake, shake. Good. And we'll do our twisties. Good. Knocking on the door of life and breathing. Feeling our feet in the earth. Ah, breathe, breathe, breathe. And then slowly coming back to center. Letting the arms go. Good. And inhaling up. And dropping that chi right down the central meridian. Beautiful. And inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Our chi shower. Taking a shower in that beautiful energy surrounding us. Good. And then let's keep our palms towards the earth as we step open. About hip distance apart. Our feet reach over to the left. And bring it into the lower dantian. And reach and bring it. We're gathering up the earth energy with our hands and cupping it, bringing it in and reach and cup. Beautiful. Reach and cup. And one more. Good. And then stepping back together. Inhale, dropping that chi again all the way down. Beautiful, beautiful. And now let's bring it the other way to our chi fountain. Flip the hands at the heart. Reach up and let it rain down. Inhaling and flipping and reaching and raining down. Letting that chi flow out. Taking anything with it that's not serving. And letting it be recycled in the ground and the earth. Reach. One more like that. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to let our arms open up and then turn to the left and open the palms. Then come back and then open up like wings and turn to the right and then come back. And this one is wise old owl, and our arms are opening up. Our head is turning, and our palms are turning. We come back, opening up, and turning. Breathing, filling up with that beautiful breath. Wise old owl. 
And sometimes I think if I'm just holding hands with the world on this one, reaching out, holding hands with the world. Beautiful. And then we'll come back to center. Good. And just kind of make a ball at the heart here. Finding that ball, the chi. We began to build up the chi, and now we can build up some chi between our hands. And if you can't feel it, then you can rub your hands together and then bring them apart, and that sometimes helps with it. Good. And now bring it to a part of the body that really needs a blessing today. And for me, it's my baby pinky toe because I stubbed it. So I'm bringing it down to my baby pinky toe. There you go, toe. And there's some healing energy for you. Good, good, good. And then as we come back up, we'll all meet and bring that energy through our brains and through our skulls, through our minds, just whooshing it good, whooshing through one more. And then the back of the neck and the back of the head and then the front of the face, the thyroid, the neck, beautiful. And around the heart and the lungs, one way. And then around the heart and the lungs, the other way. Good. And then around all those internal organs, liver and spleen and gallbladder and everything else. Good, and then around the other way, blessing them, bringing that healing energy. And then around by lower back, the spine, the adrenal glands, the kidneys, all those beautiful organs. And then we'll go down the outside of the legs, and then around and up the inside of the legs. And if you're feeling it and you want to tap here, you can. But I'm feeling more of a yin massage today. Down and around, good. And one more like that. Good. And then up through the heart, crossing at the heart to the shoulders and down to the elbows and then around by the wrists, good. And then bring it up to the sky like a lo lotus flower and let it rain down, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, blessing our bodies and feel that energy through the body so healing energy is running through. And then let's step open, bringing the right hand across and we'll do our hands, pass like cloud like clouds so come across all the way across and let them pass like clouds and it's also called making clouds so either one is great and, and then as I do this I just picture all the meridians being cleansed but also my body also my mind body being cleansed but also my mind and even my spirit good beautiful just cleansing it letting everything keep moving nothing stagnant good 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 and then back to heart Bringing those hands back together where we started. Beautiful. And then opening it up. And it is full moon was this week. So let's give a little salute to the moon with a nice embrace. Embracing that moon. I like to straighten up here and then do a little bend in the knees here as we embrace the moon beautiful strawberry moon. And 
one more. Good, and on the next one, we'll go to Taming the Wild Horse's Mane. So we'll bring those hands past each other, and that right hand goes up, left hand down, reach, then back to center. And the left hand goes up, the right hand goes down, reach, and back to center. back and drop it down the central meridian, washing it down, 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 beautiful, good, and then let's let our hands float up as we open the door, good, and down, floating up, sides of the body and then if you're feeling it as this left hand comes up the knee could come up as well And then let's draw that rainbow, reaching all the way back, and then letting both hands float up and down. Kuan Yin draws a rainbow. Compassion to everyone and every being. No one turned away. One more each side. The last one. And then let's step wide into our big circle. Reach up the right hand and down and around, drawing that big circle all the way around. Letting the palm lead and the power come from the legs as we release that loving kindness to all beings everywhere, including ourselves. One more. And then coming back to center, reaching up the left hand, down and around. Good, and one more. Good, and stepping back to center. Again, dropping the chi down, bringing the left leg forward, right leg back as we exhale forward and inhale back into our prayer wheel. Exhaling and inhaling. Sending out prayers for individuals or individual situations. One more. And then switching sides. And exhale and inhale. And 
then stepping together, we'll make that little basket here at our lower dantian as we inhale one arm up and center our practice. Storing the energy we created during this beautiful, beautiful practice. So enjoyed practicing with you. One more each side. And then we'll inhale those hands up and then down and up to the solar plexus and down up to the heart down and up to the throat and back down up to the forehead and down and then up over the head and down and putting one hand on top of that lower dantian the other one over that we will sway in the wind like a bamboo. My bamboo is having a little bit of difficulty. It's interesting how much a little toe means. <laughs> Everyone counts. <laughs> Good. And then come back to center and inhale both arms up. And exhale to heart center. We are grateful. I am grateful for you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Yay. Hi, Thank hi. you. They hey. scheduled me for another back to back shift this summer quarter on Mondays, so I still won't be able to regularly join, unfortunately. But Well, that's uh, so cool that you came today. I'm so happy. I know. Yeah. I had a break this week, so I was like, I can make it today. <laughs> so, yeah, yay. great to see you. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. I finished my first um, quarter in clinic, so that was very exciting. I really like seeing patients. It's my favorite part of school right now, so uh -huh. I'm thrilled to keep seeing patients. I'm on an, um, I actually got scheduled for an off-site shift on Thursdays, which is really exciting, and an oncology shift on Mondays. So. Be right back. You, you guys keep talking. Okay, so <laughs> how, how many more years do you have? Um, so I have about a year to go for my mm -hmm. master's, but then I'm going to stay an additional two quarters for the doctorate. Okay. And you already have a bachelor's degree from a college? Yeah, I already have a bachelor's. Uh -huh. Did you go to Redlands? I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. What hall, what hall did you live in? I was Johnston, actually. Oh, Johnston. All right. Yeah, I had a flute player friend from there. I, I was a Grossmont girl. <laughs> oh, Nice. Yeah. I really I really liked Redlands. I had a I had a really good time there. I thought that like the education was really good. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, it was a very fine college when I was there too. And I mean that was eons ago. But you, you know talking Well, um, no no, it's okay. I just I, I just wanted to, you know, find out a little bit about her, her background. <laughs> so that's great. That's really wonderful. It's wonderful to see you when you can come. Oh, I'm very glad to see everyone too. Keep keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, keep All coming. All righty. Yeah. Okay. I'll There's see you soon. A workman, a workman and George left, so I have oh. to. Yeah, 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 it's okay. Thank you, Cindy. We'll see you next yeah, time. Thank we'll you. see you next week, but we'll see you the week after. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Okay. Love you Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.